this video, I will be going through the list of anime for the season of summer 2016, and I will see what interests me and what I want to give a chance. So let's get started. Uh, let's see, this is a comedy shonen supernatural. In a certain tea shop, there lives a man called Mononokian, and this morose looking man gained his name for his ability to work with yokai. Ah, not particularly. Uh, comedy music. Oh, it's a sequel, nope. Berserk. I'm totally gonna give Berserk a try. I don't know about the CGI, but I think it's worth a try. I haven't watched the old movies, but, uh, you know, I have read the manga and I am caught up to it, so it's not like I need to watch the old movies. I can just try this one out and that's it. Uh, I've not watched Love Live, so nope. Okay, so I know this character is from uh, some series, but when, like, is that not like related since it's not saying anything well, I probably won't but I might check see if it's related to the other series I can't remember what the name is A Tales of Zestiria now I really want to watch this but uh, I actually haven't played the game yet so maybe I won't I don't know I'm not sure, like, is it the story of the game? Is it a prequel to the game? Sequel? I have to check that out. If it's a prequel or just unrelated, I'm 100% watching it. But, oh well, it says the game begins. So, it's probably during the game. In that case, I'm not going to watch it. Ah, music. I like the sound of that. Tsubaki is a new hire in the A&R department of the major recording company, Gandala Music. Tsubaki is immediately assigned to oversee the idol unit, P Project, which is made up of three idol groups, Kitakor, uh, Thrive, and Moons. This is Tsubaki's first job, and she gets involved in various incidents and accidents as she deals with a group of young men who each have their own differing personalities. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> now that I read it, this sounds more, um, well, let's see, it sounds more like a, 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 what is it called, a boy's love, something like that, the BL, it sounds like a BL show more than a music show. I have like a series in mind, but I can't think of the name. <laughs> Come on, what is it? Ah, well, whatever. There is like one or two BL series that I've watched. One of them I uh, ended up enjoying, but the other one, eh, not really. Like I still finished it because the story was half interesting, but yeah. So this one, mm, I'll give it a shot, but... Uh, I don't think the focus is going to be on music. <laughs> Hatsukoi Monster. Kaoni Kaido finds herself head over heels for a mysterious stranger after he saves from being hit by a truck. Kao has a few surprises in store for her when she discovers that her knight in shining armor is her landlord's son and in the fifth grade well, okay. <laughs> That's quite a surprise indeed. Yeah, I, I might give this one a shot. Comedy, school, and, you know, romance. Worth a try. Uh, anime adaptation of the Puzzle and Dragons X Nintendo 3DS puzzle role playing game. I actually have this game, but I haven't played it. Like, I've played the, the Mario. Mario side of it, but not the Dungeons and Dragon part. Uh, Show by Rock. I dropped the first season, so nope. Um, oh my god, that's a lot of genre. Uh, young man who's good at martial arts. Some thugs. Uh, 
has a special weapon with supernatural powers such as warping space time. Jesus, this could be interesting. I'm usually not a big fan of supernatural stuff, but you know, there's still quite a, a lot of series with supernatural stuff that I've enjoyed. So I can't just be like, oh, supernatural, nah. Now that sounds kind of interesting. Oh, slice of life. Sakaguchi is a high school boy and also a fudanshi who loves boys' love story. <laughs> well, he hangs out with his friends, a fujoshi named Fujoshi, named Jimmy, his gay friend Yujiro, fellow fudanshi Daigo, and his normal friend Nakamura. <laughs> this actually sounds like it could be funny. I don't know, worth a try. Amanju. The story follows the everyday lives of the members of a diving club in the city of Ito in Shizuoka Prefecture. Yeah, I'll give this a try. I like Slice of Lives. Planetarian. I have not watched the other Planetarian shows. The story focuses on an art club in a certain middle school and its members, Subaru Ichi Uchimaki, who is a genius at drawing faces but only wants to draw the perfect 2D wife, Colette, a rich troublemaker who never stops making mischief, and the club president who sleeps through sessions and collects sleeping aids. Mizuki Usami is the only person in the club who wants to do art club-like activities and constantly struggles to do so. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll give this a try too. It sounds interesting. Fate Kelly, I have not watched this series. 91 Days Drama During the Prohibition era, a man named Avirio seeks revenge against his friend Nero, a future mafioso for the death of his family. With this kind of anime, where most people usually find them very good, but I'm not a fan of anime based on, uh, you know, like the, I don't know, early to mid 90s in the States. I don't know why, I just don't really enjoy this sort of era. Like that and the world wars and stuff like that. I'm not a fan of. Maybe if it's really praised, uh, I'll give it a shot, but other than that, probably not. Uh, I have not watched Arslan Senki Battery. Takumi Harada moves to a mountain town in Okayama Prefecture during the spring break before he enters middle school due to his father's job transfer. Takumi is a pitcher, and after the moves, he soon loses faith in his own talent, but suddenly his classmate Ko Nakakuda appears in front of him. Ko has a strong desire to form a battery, a combination of a pitcher and catcher, with Takumi. Yeah, that sounds interesting. Uh, time travel shoujo Mari Wakato Hachini no Kagakusha Tachi Blood Summary not available yet. We don't even know what <laughs> what uh, producer or company or studio there we go is doing it so yeah now let's go over real life uh, Arata Kaisaki is an unemployed single 27 year old who's been cut off from his parents financial support unable to find a, a job due to him leaving his previous employer within three months he is stuck one night after drinking a friend. Uh, he meets Dio Yoake, a man who offers Arata pills to turn, turn him back into a 17 year old so he can redo his life. After agreeing to the experiment, Arata joins a high school class and meets Chisuru Ishido, a socially awkward, silent beauty who yearns to have friends. Through connecting with her and other classmates, 
Adam must find what he likes lacks to live a happy life in the real world with a within a one year time limit well that sounds a little bit sounds like it has potential but it could easily be uh, ruined like majorly however I'm definitely gonna give it a try next Shokugeki no Soma ni no Sora absolutely I'm watching this second season of Shokugeki no Soma count me in now Handakun I know that Handakun is a spin-off on uh, Barakamon it's like uh, the life of Handa uh, back when he was a student or something like that so I am definitely gonna watch that Barakamon was one of my favorite uh, slice of life sequel nope a sequel nope this oh harem come on a girl with amnesia who doesn't remember her own name is rescued by a family of mafia ah no okay but then yeah i have no idea what this is about it's based on a mascot yeah but i think i'm gonna give this a shot that's probably one of the short animes like the five minutes episodes if not three minutes so I'm not gonna be wasting much time giving this a shot so that works oh I like the art style of this one Kalidea code the story takes place in a world where humans are continuing to fight a war against an enemy called unknown known invaded several decades ago and children entered a cold sleep to escape when the children awoke, they found themselves with supernatural powers. The children set up defense cities in Tokyo, Kanagawa, and Chiba in order to protect the country from the unknown. And this sounds, this sounds like it has potential. I might give this a shot. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, but uh, this time I don't intend to limit myself in how many I watch. Or no, not so much that, but how many I give a chance to. Uh, you know, I usually limit myself to only the shows that I'm pretty certain that I will enjoy. Because I don't like dropping shows. But, like, based on uh, the spring season, I think I'm gonna give a try to more anime and just not be scared of dropping shows. Like, uh, for the sp uh, spring season, like I just said. I didn't drop any of the shows that I watched, but now that I'm at the end, I kind of wish I had dropped like one or two of them. One of them being a high school fleet. I'm just not really enjoying it, but I only have one episode left, so there's no use dropping it now. And uh, this, the Lost Village is like a half-half situation. Like today, in, now that it's over, can I say that I enjoyed the series? Not really. However, I did enjoy watching it week to week. So, like, I guess I would have been fine dropping it or not dropping it. Uh, but yeah, let's keep going. Oh, music. Uh, this is probably, again, the same. Yo, oh my god, this guy has a, a male and a female version. Yeah. Yeah, okay, no. I'm probably not gonna try this one. Serve a vampire. I'm not into this whole thing. Sorry. Okay, this. <laughs> the story follows the everyday life of Koro, the most admirable of farts, as he solves problems in ways that only a fart can. Now, this is gonna be ridiculous, but precisely because of that, I absolutely absolutely want to give it a try uh, slice of life amama to inasuma math teacher kohei Inas inusuka is a widow with a young daughter named tsumaki 
Inuzuka isn't an adept in the kitchen, but with the help of a student and his daughter, he embarks on a culinary adventure. And this could be interesting. Blah, interesting.